ride. <gasps> I'm Vincent. And I'm Hanjong. And this is our 2006 Ford Transit. This is our home. We've been living in it since December, and we're filming right now above Dubrovnik, which is beautiful. And it's our first time doing all of this. Ham keposicho. That means, let's check it out. Come inside, come inside. Come on. It's cold, so I'm gonna shut the door. So, welcome to the cabin of the van. There isn't anything really crazy groundbreaking up here. Right hand side steering wheel, manual gear shift. I hadn't driven manual until we drove to London the day we left. We've got backup camera installed. I actually did that by myself and it works. <laughs> Amazing. We don't have a great radio system up here, so we bought one of these. It's 15 pounds, connects via Bluetooth, so we can play whatever music we want. Just plug this into the cigarette lighter. That's great. What else? I don't have an oh shit bar. I really wish I had one, but I don't. Hand sanitizer is a must in 2021. That's about it for the front, I guess. And for the window, we have a Shield Auto Care double pane plastic window, the shape of our walls, the location of the framing of the metal. We weren't sure where we could put the window. The window had to be on the door in the end. It cost us, I think around 150 pounds. And it's pretty cool. It has this for privacy. Um, it, it has magnets so it clips on up here. We also have this net for when we're cooking or it's nice weather, but we don't want bugs to get inside. So. The window has been great actually. I mean, it, I did slam my forehead into this, so it is really strong um, and it will cut you open. <laughs> that's, that's the window. I'm like, this is like fifth take. So that's the window. Let's go check out the electrical and solar. Do this, electrical time. <laughs> Welcome to the garage. This is our electrical setup over here. Our diesel gasoline here. And then over here we have our 70 liter water tank from Fiamma. I'll talk about electric first. We have our 260 amp hour AGM battery from Alpha Batteries in the UK. Um, we have a 1000 watt inverter MPPT combination unit. We got that from Bimble Solar. It houses everything in one unit. So that's our inverter and our MPPT solar charger. Um, it takes the solar from our 325 watt solar panel, inverts it into power that we use for our lighting our water pump, our heater, everything. So with our electrical setup, we also have what is called split charge relay. It connects our driving battery, our main battery to this system. And as we're driving, it uses the alternator's energy and charges our battery. That way, if it's raining or anything and solar is not an option, just driving the van itself charges this battery up which is awesome. So while we're driving across Croatia or Italy or anywhere, our battery is fully juiced and will last three or four days with no solar. It's a must have in van life. So over here we have our fire alarm. Um, you gotta have it. It's next to our electrical system. That way if anything happens in the electrical area, the alarm will go off. We wake up, jump up, we're saved. We've got our five liter diesel tank down here that runs our diesel heater. This will last us a long time. We don't use the heater a whole lot. Also in the back, I mean, you gotta use all the space you have in your van life. We've done this beautiful cladding back here, insulated inside the doors as well. These are the hoses we use. This one is for if I can find a water source, it's a little far away, I'll just connect it and run it in here and fill up our water. We also have this 12 volt shower pump that we bought. Um, it was really cheap, but we use this so much. This is a great value buy in the van life. You can use it in so many different ways. The main way we use it is filling up our water tank. So this is our water fill point for our 70 liter water tank. This is normally a fill point on the outside of your van. So you have to cut the hole, install it. We just didn't have time or the expertise or the knowledge. In the end, this was the easiest thing for us to do for our water tank. This is our backup water tank. I think it's 25 liters. We use this quite a lot. I get any chance I get to fill this up, I do. 
uh, just so we have this extra 25 liters on board. Um, if our main water system runs out, I just connect this. I use our 12 volt shower pump. I fill it up, we're good to go. Over here we have shore power. Uh, this allows us to connect at campsites or anywhere else, plug in our cable, our charging cord, and charge our battery through the campsite power. Yeah, between this, solar and split charge relay those are all the ways we charge our battery inside our home that is the outside of the van let's check out the inside so this is our gray water area yeah this is our gray water tank i think it's 10 liters you can pull it out empty it super easy we do have our diesel heater down here as well it was fitted by our good friend toby in brighton he's incredible our diesel heater is from eBay, 100 pounds, about 115 pounds. Ours came with a remote, a nice display. We actually use it to dry Hyun Jung's hair after she washes her hair. We love our diesel heater. So this is our shower tray. This is the entrance to our home. This was Hyun Jung's idea to have a shower tray inside the van. We have to build a shower curtain and everything. It's really cool. We use it for shoe storage right now to the occasional hair washing or feet washing if you get really dirty. Or we can also take this out and we use this to shower outside. So one of the other features in our entrance that we like our shoe storage in right here into the bulkhead we just have 24 karat gold chains keeping this drawer from going crazy and then you just shut it like this boom that's where all of your shoe storage is so the latest addition to our van is this tray this table um this originally is an off cut piece of our countertop wood but it's great we can use it to cook on or to drink on um you're supposed to throw the beer now. <laughs> throw, throw the beer. <laughs> it's just a cool little extra space to help cook on. But And actually right now, if you buy three of these beers, we love this table because we can sort of grow our space with it. We have a small home and anything you can do in these vans and these smaller homes to grow your space, to give yourself more comfort, you have to take advantage of that. Ma shora. Ma shora. What does that mean? Drink. <laughs> oh, drink. Oh, okay. Hopefully it doesn't explode in my face. This is the Thetford 365 Porta Potty. It's awesome. It's so easy. We use it every day <laughs> there's a bunch on the market but this one is really simple and I don't have any complaints about it it holds a lot of she and dong <laughs> it's my turn 여기는 볼크헤드 라고 부르는 곳이더라고요 이 부분은 저희의 아주 유용한 스토리지로 쓰고 있습니다 문은 저희가 뭐 잠글 필요 없이 이렇게 슬로우하게 열렸다 닫히는 힌지를 사용하고 있고요. 여기는 저의 화장품들이 들어 있고 여기는 저희 카메라나 모니터 뭐 이런 것들을 여기다 보관하고 있고 샤워 용품이랑 탄산수 제조기를 보관하고 있습니다. 그리고 원래는 여기 꽉꽉 채워서 저희가 뭘 보관했었는데 그렇게 하니까 계속 곰팡이가 생기는 거예요. 뭐한 절반 이하로만 지금 사용하고 있습니다. 그리고 이쪽에는 옷걸이를 이렇게 몇개 마련을 해서 어, 뭐 급하게 옷을 걸어야 하거나 사용한 수건을 걸어야 할때 이렇게 훅을 꽤 많이 달아 넣습니다. 그리고 여기는 뭐 동전이나 필름 카메라, 메모리 카드 같은 것들을 이제 여기 담아둘 수 있게끔 이렇게 작은 스토리지도 있고요. 그리고 여기는 저희 거울이 있습니다. 이렇게 공간이 작다 보니까 조금 이렇게 익스텐션? 이렇게 좀 확장 효과를 주려고 조금 큰 거울을 이쪽에 달아봤어요. 그래서 빛이 이렇게 들어와서 좀 반사될 수도 있고 그리고 이제 나가기 전에 이제 이렇게 뭔가 이렇게 머리도 이렇게 한번 정리할 수 있는 그런 거울이 이곳에 있습니다. 여기는 계속 나 이렇게 이렇게 하네. 제가 제일 좋아하는 키친 공간입니다. 뭐 사실 뭐 그렇게 넓진 않아서 뭐 여기 공간 공간이라 하긴 그렇지만 주로 이쪽에 스토브를 올려두고요. 이쪽에는 깊고 큰 싱크를 주문을 했어요. 
따로 화장실이 없기 때문에 이쪽에서 머리를 감거나 세수를 하거나 뭐 이를 닦을 때도 굉장히 좀 편하게 쓸수 있게끔 큰 싱크대를 마련을 했고 거기에 맞게끔 이렇게 <웃음> 유연하게 쓸수 있는 <웃음> 그리고 이곳은 저희 주방 관련 제품들을 넣어두는 수납장이라고 할수 있겠습니다. 첫 번째 드로어에는 컵이나 유텐슬 같은 경우를 여기다가 보관하고 있고 제가 굉장히 애정하는 이렇게 늘어났다 줄어들었다 하기 때문에 공간이 굉장히 중요한 그런 삶은 <웃음> 이런 게 좋은 것 같아요 그리고 아, 아마 아시는 분들은 이미 또 사용하고 계시겠지만 여기 빵을 올리고 이렇게 스토브에 이렇게 해두면 토스트가 완성됩니다 저의 아침으로 굉장히 많이 쓰고 있죠 꿀팁 뚜껑을 대신해서 쓸수 있는 실리콘 뚜껑입니다 두 번째는 저의 그릇 보관함입니다 제가 굉장히 좋아하는 거는 사실 이런 에나멜 제품들입니다 왜냐면 이게 자리를 굉장히 덜 차지할 수 있게 디자인이 되어 있어요 이렇게 이 하나 안에 이게 들어가고 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 이렇게 디자인이 되어 있기 때문에 펠콘에서 나온 것들로 세트로 구매를 하셔도 굉장히 좋을 것 같아요 세 번째 칸에는 주로 한국 음식 조미료 같은 경우들이나 무게를 좀 가지고 있지만 또 등치도 크고 이런 것들이 여기다 다 놓고 있습니다 그리고 여기는 저의 시크릿 파티입니다 고추장, 세스미 오일, 후추, 오트밀크 이곳에 모두 다 숨겨져 있습니다 Alright. 냉장고 우리의 중요한 냉장고 We spent a lot of our budget on our refrigerator h y u n j u n g is a great cook She loves to cook And we wanted to make sure we didn't have any problems down the road with our refrigerator We got the Dometic CFX395DZ We built this couch for the refrigerator It's a dual compartment refrigerator. This side is our freezer. We've got ice cubes, frozen fruit. It's awesome. It's not as big as the other side, but you can keep the temperature different on each side. So if we want to have two freezers, we can have two freezers. n i n g j a n g o over here, it's humongous. We can fit a few weeks. I mean, probably more, three weeks worth of food in here. This is the Dometic CFX app. It's pretty awesome. You can control your refrigerator from the app. You can slide these up and down, change your temperatures to whatever you want them to be. You can also check the output and the input of how much wattage it's using. Oh, it has battery protection. So if my battery gets below 12 volts, the refrigerator will sort of a reserve power mode so as not to kill your battery. Um, it's a really smart product. Yeah, that's our Dometic CFX395DZ. It's a 95 liter refrigerator. Take five. <laughs> so for our couch, um, this is how we sit and we have dinner and we do work on our table. Two computers fit here. Um, we have dinner, we watch our Netflix. You should definitely consider having one of these tables. h y u n j u n g made these cushion covers. We actually use these for my side of the bed at night. We put both these cushions here. The blanket comes out. My feet come out to about here because when we originally built this van, we intended we thought we would sleep this way but it ended up hurting my hips and my back so we had to sort of adapt and find a new way to sleep at night and it just so happens that these couch cushions fit perfectly here and it elevates the bed to here boom i sleep really well at night now yogi ah oh. that's how h y u n j u n g sleeps the, the loud snores Yeah, while I'm up here, I'll also tell you about our pillows. One of the smartest things you can do in van life, we filled them with our clothes that are either out of season or just really hard to get out of luggage. Originally, when we moved in, we didn't do this. And so we were having to take our luggage out from under the bed, get jackets out, trade things out. This just makes life so much easier in van life because a lot of your clothes is just right here inside these pillows. This is h y u n j u n g s closet. Uh, one of her closets where some of her clothes lives. We've got these uh, slow What are they called slow? Hinge. Slow release hinge so you know the door doesn't slam closed and then they slowly close no problems You don't have to do it. Mine is over here These packing cubes make life so easy in the tiny homes because you can just sort of get everything in one little 
cube, and then boom, that's all the clothes, that's all my shirt. We have food over here. We already showed this one, I think, but a lot of coffee stuff up here. This is this is where our coffee and dry food predominantly live in upper cabinets. Woohoo! Thanks for watching our van tour video. If you have any questions, comment on below. <laughs> <laughs> if anybody can send us some jajamyeon, we oh. would be so thankful. There's none in Croatia. So. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you hadn't noticed, we do sell an ebook for how to convert a van. It has over 190 pages of detailed instructions and diagrams, also 25 video tutorials which are specifically for the ebook buyer. Creating a van for many people is obviously a really intimidating project, but I really believe, and I've seen it time and time and time again, that with the right information, anyone can turn out with a pretty decent van conversion. So check the link in the description, subscribe to the channel if you are not already, uh, and drop us a comment if you like this video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week.